I'm the king of the underground of rock and roll, and by them con condemning me, what they're doing is condemning the whole underground scene in general, and we can't be stopped, and I won't be stopped. While he obviously disagreed with the verdict, G.G. Allen showed little emotion when it was read. We, the jury, find the defendant, Kevin Michael Allen, guilty of disorderly conduct as charged in the complaint. Such a narrow-minded, hypocritical puppets of society trying to kill rock and roll, and they can't do it. The defense argued Allen was exercising his right of free expression when he defecated on stage and threw feces into the audience. But in his closing argument, Assistant District Attorney Michael Steinhoffel said First Amendment protection only goes so far. No, we have rules. We have certain levels of decency. But Allen maintains there can be no limits in rock and roll. My body is the rock and roll temple. My flesh, my blood, my, my fluids. It's like a communion to my people. G.G. Allen says he'll keep doing what he did here at the Odd Rock Cafe two and a half years ago, that the jury's verdict will do nothing to temper his act. In fact, he says he'll perform the ultimate act on October 31st, 1992. On that day, G.G. Allen vows to commit suicide on stage. His attorney hopes to talk him out of that. I hope that he'll keep the case going beyond, or he'll keep his life going beyond 1992 because it may take that long to get it to the U.S. Supreme Court and he'll moot out the appeal. Allen says he'll begin a concert tour next week, but he's not sure if he'll ever again play in Milwaukee. John Hoylman, News Channel 4.